Now that you have seen the different parts of the bicycle and also seen you know what is the right frame size for you, what we are going to cover today is to show you how do you actually change the gears in your bicycle. So how do you shift the gears? So we are going to show you the two main sets of parts that come in a bicycle for the gear shifting. So the first set of parts are the derailers which you see over here. So you have the front derailer here and the rear derailer here. So this is the first set of parts. The second set of parts are the shifters which you see you know, the brake levers. So you have the uh, front and the rear shifters here which help you actually manage the gears in the back. So before we actually go into showing you how this gear system really works, we thought we will actually show you some theory to, un to better understand how this gear shifting works. So we shall do that now. So till now we were actually talking about when the front derailleur is in its smallest ring which is when it is at number 1 gear. When you move the, the front derailleur to, to number 2, then the best range would be to have the rear derailleur between the second and the fifth ring. So this is the ideal range uh, in which it should be and similarly when you move the front derailleur to the biggest ring which is when you put it to the third gear, uh, the ideal range is for the rear derailleur to be in the fourth ring to the seventh ring. So this, this ranges are actually to, to show you that if you are actually beyond these ranges then there is a possibility of the chain being entangled or the chain actually coming out of uh, the chain wheel. Because for instance, if you have you know your, your front derailleur is at the number 3 gear and your rear derailleur is at number 1, that is a really really you know wide angle for the chain to actually handle it. So there is a lot of tension on the chain when that sort of a gear ratio is put. So obviously that the, the chain will either break or get entangled. So that is why we recommend these kind of gear ratios so that it is more comfortable for you to ride. Now that we have seen the shifting in theory, we are actually going to see it in practical on this bike which is the rider's Neo. So as you can see over here, we have the shifters which we mentioned earlier. So you have the left shifter here and the right shifter here. The left shifter handles the front derailleur and the right shifter handles the rear derailleur. So that is how you manage the gear system. Of course, we will go and see how the derailleurs work but these are the shifters that help you manage your gears. So this is how we actually shift the gear. So you can see there are two levers here on the right. So this lever actually helps you move forward. So as you saw, we just moved from gear 1 to gear 2. This obviously still remains at gear 1. So the front uh, derailleur is still at number 1. The rear derailleur is at number 2. So you know, this is at the first ring and this is at the second ring. So as we move forward, you can see now we are moving to the gear 3 and then to gear 4. Now before you move forward to gear 5, 6 and 7, you need to actually move the, the rear, uh, the front ring to actually move forward. So if you move it here to gear 2, uh, then you should actually move forward from 4 to 5 to 6 to 7 because if you do not do that, you are actually going to go away from the ideal range that is there. So we need to have the ideal range that we cover in the theory where before you move to the next gear, you need to make sure that the angles are right. So we move back, uh, so we are at you know gear 4 here, so move to number 5 here and then we move to 6 and then you know we can move to the, the third ring in the front derailleur and then we move back to the 7. So this is how you achieve a 21 speed. So now we just saw that how you move from the ratio of 1 and 1 to you know 3 and 7 which is how you achieve 21 speed. So now we will also see how you go back. So Right now we are at 3 in the front derailleur and 7 over here. So we are actually going to move from 2, I mean from 3 to 2. So you know, we press the lever here on the top. So from move from 3 to 2. Over here as well, how you move back is by pressing this lever here. So you move from 7 to 6 and to 5 and to 4. And then you move back here from 2 to 1. And then you move from 4 to 3, to 2 and then back to 1. So this is how you move back and forth with the gears. Now there are few things to keep in mind when you do this. Uh, the first thing is you need to obviously wait before the next uh, gear is shifted. So for instance, if you look over here, when I am moving from 1 to 2 and to 3, I first move from 1 to 2 and then I wait for the, 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 the chain to actually move and then move to the third one. So you need to give it a pause before you move from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. So that is very important because the chain actually has to move from, from one ring to another before it, it can actually function correctly. 
The other thing to keep in mind is never use the, the shifters when the bicycle is in a stationary mode. The you have to be riding the bicycle for you to use the shifters because otherwise the shifters are going to get stuck and uh, it will not work. So you have to ensure that it's always used when, it's, when you're riding it and not when, it's, when your bicycle is in a stationary mode. So as you can see right now, the chain is in the, the largest string in the rear derailleur, so which is we are at number one. So as, as I move the shifters here right now, we move from one to two, you can see the chain has also moved from the largest ring to the second ring. And when you move to the third, then it moves to the third ring. So this is how the mechanism happens when you actually use the shifters, the chain moves forward. You know, right now we are at uh, number four and now at number five. So as you move back as well, the shifter, you put the, and it comes back to four, you also see the chain move from the fifth ring to the fourth ring, then to the third, then to the second, and then back to the first. So this is the same way it happens for the front derailleur as well. And that's how the whole uh, mechanism works. So what are you waiting for? Get yourself a Riders Neo today.